Welcome to the 2020 Prairie Fire Awards Banquet brought to you virtually. We are here today to honor a fantastic group of student athletes on all their wonderful accomplishments this year. The Dean Trevor Award is given to the senior student athlete participating on a men's team who exemplifies the traits of Dean Trevor. Those include competitive excellence, integrity, honesty, and commitment to scholarship. The nominees for the Dean Trevor Award for men are Andrew Potts, baseball, Garrett Rao, football. And the winner of the Dean Trevor Award for men is Andrew Potts. Andrew, congratulations, buddy. Um, I've had the pleasure of actually meeting uh, Dean Trevor, and there was no doubt in my mind that uh, in this year's class you are definitely um, the right recipient. You uh, characterize everything that he was about. Congratulations, big guy. Miss you. Love you. The Dean Trevor Award is given to the senior student athlete participating on a women's team who exemplifies the traits of Dean Trevor. Those include competitive excellence, integrity, honesty, and commitment to scholarships. The nominees for the Dean Trevor Award for Women are Bumika Gupta, Women's Tennis, Annie Peterson, Women's Soccer, Kira Huffman, Women's Basketball, Katie Kozalia, Women's Soccer and Softball. And the winner of the Dean Trevor Award for Women is Bumika Gupta. With an ever-present cheerful attitude, friendly demeanor, and determined resolve, Bumika Gupta succeeds on the tennis court and in the classroom. Bumika earned a 10-3 record at number one singles and placed second at number one singles in the Midwest Conference this season. After receiving multiple affirmations from opposing coaches and players alike, Bumika led the team in earning two Midwest Conference Sportsmanship Awards. Bumika's academic accolades and activities are numerous and include the Dean's List, Engineering Club, the Conference for Undergraduate Women in Physics, the Most Creative Robot at the Augustana College Robot Competition, Knox College Physics Department Research Grant Recipient, a Teaching Assistant for Physics, and a Red Room Tutor for Math and Physics. But perhaps Bumika's greatest qualities are her humbleness and modesty. She didn't do the hard work for the accolades and the awards. She practiced, studied, read, learned and shared her knowledge, passion, and joy with others because that is simply who she is. The Jeff Sundberg Mental Toughness Award is given to the senior student athlete who is judged to have dealt most effectively with adversity during their Knox career. The nominees for the Jeff Sundberg Mental Toughness Award are Annie Peterson, Women's Soccer, Jared Swartz, Men's Tennis, and the winner of the Jeff Sundberg Mental Toughness Award is Annie Peterson. Hi, my name is Taylor Houck, and I'm excited to introduce Annie Peterson as this year's Jeff Sandberg Mental Toughness Award winner. During Annie's four-year career at Knox, she not only dealt with positional changes, going from a forward midfielder to a center back, but she also dealt with multiple coaching changes. Annie played for seven different coaches during her four years at Knox. However, as coaches changed, she remained consistent. Annie led the team on the field, in the locker room, and as captain her final season. She dealt with many different environments, teammates, and coaches while still managing to put her team first and bring her team to four Midwest Conference championships. In addition to collecting championships, Annie also collected a variety of conference and national awards. Bear with me. She was selected as all Midwest Conference team for 2018 and 2019 season, she was selected Academic All-Conference each season she played. She was selected for third team United Soccer Coaches Women's Scholar All-North uh, Central Region. And finally, Annie was named the 2019 Midwest Conference Dep Defensive Player of the Year. Congratulations. The Arvid Pierre Zuderberg Jr. Prize for men is given to the student athlete participating on a men's team who during their first year exemplified the highest quality of character, scholarship, and interest in sports. The nominees for the Arvid Zuderberg Jr. Prize are Kendall Ballman, football and baseball, Arthur Batista, men's tennis, Ira Moore, football and baseball, and Jason Clark, football and baseball. And the winner of the Arvin Pierre Zuderberg Jr. Prize for men is Jason Clark. Hi. 
I'm very excited to get the opportunity to announce Jason Clark as the winner of the Zetterberg Trophy for men. Uh, Jason uh, was a rotating starter at H-back in football as a first year. He also started two, I th two of the four games that were played in baseball and I think just has an outstanding future in both of those sports. But what really stands out to me about Jason is his work ethic, character, commitment to his grades, and commitment to his teammates. He's an outstanding teammate. Uh, so congratulations, Jason, on this award. And also congratulations to all of the award winners this year. Thank you. The Arvid Pierre Zuderberg Jr. Prize for Women is given to the student athlete participating on a women's team who, during their first year, exemplified the highest quality of character, scholarship, and interest in sports. The nominees for the Arvid Pierre Zuderberg Jr. Prize for Women are Jenna Lee, Women's Soccer, Saxton Alvarez, Women's Basketball, Tao Lung, Volleyball, and Lacey Miller, Softball. And the winner of the Arvid Pierre Zuderberg Junior prize for women is Jenna Lee. Hi, my name is Taylor Houck, and I'm thrilled to announce this year's winner, Jenna Lee. During Jenna's first year at Knox, she was dedicated to sports all year round as a member of both the women's soccer program and track and field program. On the field, Jenna not only played in every game, she started in all 21 matches as well. As a major offensive threat, Jenna was the focal point of many teams' defensive pressure. At the end of the season, Jenna was selected second team Midwest Conference and Midwest Conference Newcomer of the Year. Congratulations, Jenna. Prayer Fire athletes, what a strange year it's been. But here we are, and even though we're not together, even though we're not over in Seymour celebrating the athletics banquet, I am every bit as proud of you, every bit as grateful to you for all the struggle, all the practice, all the contests, all the personal bests, the wins, the losses, everything that you have done as Prairie Fire athletes. I'm so proud of you, you're champions, every one of you. David Robinson Fan of the Year Award is given to the person or persons deemed to have given Knox teams the most sincere and comprehensive support during any given year. The nominee and winner for the David Robinson Fan of the Year Award is Meredith Witherall, head men's and women's tennis coach. Congrats, Meredith. It's very obvious that you are a super fan around this department, always helping out wherever you can always at other games, no matter the sport, and you're even best friends with Blaze. Congrats again. Meredith, congratulations on this fan award. There's no one more deserving than you are. You are always there for your colleagues, whether it be recruiting or just supporting them at their events. Uh, you are truly super fan and super motivator. Uh, and besides, you're the best Blaze in the history of Knox College. So. Thank you for all you do, for all you've done. Uh, you have been a tremendous asset to the department this year uh, through your leadership and just your support. So thanks for everything. Congratulations. The K Club Award for Men is conferred on the student athlete who maintained an outstanding academic record during their sophomore year, lettered in two sports, and is selected by the athletic department staff as contributing most significantly to the athletic program. The nominees for the K Club Award Men are Derek Jackson, football and track and field, Charlie Gibbons, football and baseball. And the winner of the K-Club Award for Men is Charlie Gibbons. Chuck, congratulations on the K-Club, big guy. Uh, there's no doubt you are instrumental in our athletic department whether it's on the football field, the baseball field, setting up for youth basketballs on Saturdays, or being the infamous voice for our basketball teams during our broadcasts um, on the live stream. Thanks, Chuck. Congratulations, buddy. The K-Club Award for Women is conferred on a student athlete who maintained an outstanding academic record during their sophomore year, lettered in two sports, and is selected by the athletic department staff as contributing most significantly to the athletic program. The nominees for the K Club Award for Women are Lydia Mitchell, Soccer and Track and Field, 
Contessa Duran, Volleyball and Women's Basketball. And the winner of the K-Club Award for Women is Contessa Duran. Contessa, I'm very happy you won the K-Club Award for Women. You are a serious student and an excellent athlete. You were a starter on both the volleyball and basketball teams. You were a big part of our team's success this season, especially by creating havoc on the defensive end of the court. You were also a leader and a competitor. I can't wait to see even more things from you the next two seasons. Congratulations. Can't wait to see you again in the fall. The 100 Trophy is awarded to the participant on a men's team who, during their junior year, achieved the highest scholastic average while earning letters in two sports. It's my great honor today to announce the winner of the Hunter Trophy. Uh, if you've ever had a chance to look at the names on the Hunter Trophy, it's a real elite list of folks that have done great things while at Knox College. And so this year's award winner is Kobe Shutter, football and baseball. Congratulations, Kobe. Kobe, congrats, buddy, on the Hunter Trophy. Uh, not only have you been one of the best athletes in, Knox, in the past 10 years here at Knox, but you've proven that you are quintessential Knox with the high academics and character traits that allow you to receive the Hunter Trophy. Thanks, Kobe. Love you and miss you. The Molar Cup is awarded to a participant on a women's team who, during their junior year, achieved the highest scholastic average while earning letters in two sports. And it's my honor to give out the, and announce the winner of the Mahler Cup. If you've ever seen the list of the winners of the Mahler Cup, it's a real elite group of athletes, some of the real stars that have come through Knox College. This year, the award winner is Katie Kosalia, in soccer, softball. Congratulations, Katie. Congratulations, Katie. I'm so excited for you. I have no idea how you maintain a great GPA with everything you do on this campus. Two sport athlete, photographer, sports writer, intramurals, everything. Congratulations. Good luck. The David Agar Athletic Service Award is awarded to the person or persons with the most outstanding contributions to athletics in a non-competitive capacity. This year's nominees for the David Agar Athletic Service Award are Joey Dorgan Jr., Michaela Thali, women's soccer, Katie Kozelia, women's soccer, and Jose Montoya, intern, Ikena Ozor, men's basketball. And this year, winner of the David Agar Athletic Service Award are Katie Kozelia and Jose Montoya. Congratulations, Katie and Jose. I don't think there's any doubt that you two are the MVPs of the athletic department this year. Jose, you started a revamped social media and graphics in the fall, and Katie just ran with it in the spring. Jose, congratulations, and thank you for your service to our department during your internship. What you did with our social media and our video and photo content is amazing. Um, we could not have had such a successful year without you. Thank you for all you've done. Katie, congratulations on the award and thanks for all you've done for our department. You have been fantastic this year. Your photography, your video, your editing abilities, your writing abilities, we so appreciate everything you've done for us. And I can say without a doubt that you have absolutely made us better this year. So. Thank you for everything, and you're, you're very deserving of this award. Congratulations. The Cleve Bridgman Trophy is awarded to the student athlete participating on a men's team selected as the outstanding performer in an individual sport in a given year. This year's nominees for the Cleve Bridgman Trophy are Ajay Gustafson, men's tennis, Derek Jackson, track and field, Patrick Matar, men's golf. And this year's winner for the Cleve Bridgman Trophy is Derek Jackson. Congratulations on everything you accomplished this season. Breaking five school records in three events, winning conference in the 60 and 200 meter dash with the 60 meter win in conference record time, being named conference track athlete of the meet, 
and earning all region and all American honors in the 60 meter and 200 meter dash. Now on top of that, we're adding another award to your trophy case. This was an amazing season and I'm looking forward to see what you do next year. The Michelle Loomis Award is awarded to the student athlete participating on a women's team selected as outstanding performer in an individual sport in a given year. This year's nominees for the Michelle Loomis Award are Bumaga Gupta, women's tennis, Shelby Keene, women's golf, Melissa Wood, swimming and diving. And this year's winner of the Michelle Loomis Award is Bumaga Gupta. played number one singles for the Knox Prairie Fire. She posted a 10 and three record, the best record a women's tennis player has had in over 10 years. Bumaka also placed number two at number one singles in the Midwest Conference. Again, a record-breaking season for Knox tennis. Bumaka has been applauded by coaches and other players alike for her dedication to tennis and her sportsmanship. The Harley Nosher Men's Athletic Award is given to the Outstanding Men's Athlete of the Year. This year's nominees for the Harley Nosher Men's Athlete of the Year Award are Adetayo Adadofie, Men's Soccer, Garrett Rao, Football, Ajaya Gustafson, Men's Tennis, Derek Jackson, Track and Field. And this year's winner for the Harley Nosher Men's Athlete of the Year Award goes to Derek Jackson. Congrats on another award. This season started out with some lofty goals. And with the hard work you put in every day on the track, we were able to accomplish them all. We've already started talking about goals for next year, and I'm sure you work just as hard to reach those. The Harley Nosher Women's Athlete of the Year Award is given to the Outstanding Women's Athlete of the Year. This year's nominees for the Harley Nosher Women's Athlete of the Year Award are Mandy Ferris, Volleyball, Annie Peterson, Women's Soccer, Bumika Gupta, women's tennis, Gerilyn McCall, women's basketball, and Shelby Keene, women's golf. And this year's Harley Nosher Women's Athlete of the Year Award goes to Gerilyn McCall. Gerilyn, you had a great senior season. You set the single season scoring mark by averaging 16.3 points per game. You averaged 16.6.7 rebounds per game and 2.7 assists per game. Those are huge numbers and also in the top 10 in the Midwest Conference. Also, you were named first team all conference this season. You helped lead us back to the Midwest Conference Tournament. Congratulations for the well-deserved Harley Nosher Female Athlete of the Year Award. John W. Hilding Prize is given to the student athlete participating on a men's team with the most outstanding career in intercollegiate athletics. This year's nominee for the John W. Hilding Prize are Nick Janulis, men's soccer, and Kobe Shutter, football and baseball. And this year's winner of the John W. Hilding Prize is Kobe Shutter. I get the honor of uh, introducing the winner of the Hilding Prize this year. And to help me, I asked my friend Bob here to uh, help me out today. Bob, Bob. Well, Kobe Shutter, winner of the Hilding Prize, same height here as Bob, and his six foot five frame has graced us for the last four years on both the baseball field and on the football field, being a multiple year starter and a multiple year all-conference player. We're gonna miss you, Kobe. Great job in your career and look forward to the things to come in your life. The Evelyn B. Ellefeld Award is given to a student athlete participating on a women's team with the most outstanding career in intercollegiate athletics. This year's nominees for the Evelyn Bellafeld Award are Katie Koziglia, Women's Soccer and Softball, Jenna Milligan, Women's Soccer, Bumika Gupta, Women's Tennis, Gerilyn McCall, Women's Basketball, Samantha Nichols, Women's Golf. And this year's award winner for the Evelyn B. Bellafeld Award is Gerilyn McCall. Congrats on the great career you had on the court. You finished your career at Knox as the all-time leading scorer with 1,372 points. Second in assists with 264, fourth in rebounds with 693, and fourth in free throw percentage with 82.5. You're one of the best ever to play for Knox women's basketball and earning all Midwest Conference honors for four straight years is a testament to your basketball career.
career. In a league of 10 teams that only has 12 all-conference selections, it is very rare for someone to be selected all four years. You also helped lead the team to the Midwest playoffs twice, Midwest Conference playoffs twice. I am proud of all you have accomplished on and off the court in the last four years, and we will definitely miss you. Congratulations again on a tremendous career. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoy getting to know some of these wonderful nominees and award winners today. We're very proud to bring you this event virtually. Thank you.